Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to make this yarn. This yarn is a little tricky. It's a tricky technique. Um, you need to have good hand-eye coordination to be able to make it. There is a lot going on with this make. You will be shown how I glaze um, while I am spinning the single and also adding the kid mohair locks as you are making the single. So the single itself is the tricky part which is in part one. Um, so I hope you enjoy learning how to make this one because I had fun. It took a while. It took about two weeks to create um but that's only because i ran out of product and i needed to buy more uh if you had all the product on like ready you would probably take a week to make it this one has um i've used Cashmere, Merino, Sari Silk. I use the Sari Silk for the glaze effect. And Angora Kid Mohair Locks. I applied it with a fine Merino Cashmere Silk Plying Thread, which is this one on a cone. It's quite soft. It's beautiful to work with. Um, and it makes all the beautiful lush greenery colours just pop. Um, I call this one Tundra. This one is for a custom make for a customer. And she can't wait to get it this week. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy this one, and bye. this is my greens for this that's the glazing fiber this is going to be added to the top of the spun yarn as well so it's going to be hand-eye coordination I'm going to be glazing and I'm going to be adding the locks the same way. But 
before we do that I need to find my little scissors and I need to separate the fine locks and I want to cut off the ends that are all matted like so and I will be left with little fine locks like that and I need to keep on doing that until all of this is done and then I will go on to the third part of fibre prep which is the fibre, the top. So I will speed this one up because it's going to take a while. Normally does with locks. And I'll be back in a minute. This won't take long this is the quickest part of it so you find the center and you strip it all the way to the end unravel Okay, you repeat it until you get it to the thickness that you're after. Yeah. This thickness is great for thick and thin and chunky yarn. But I want to make this into a four ply. So I'm going to strip again. Okay, so this is perfect for a four to eight ply. So I'm going to continue to do that until I've done it all. And then I will either do up a, another video or I will start the spinning process on this video mm. 
No, I'll probably do it all in one video. And then you do the same for the other half. Stay tuned for part four, which is the spinning the single. And I will show you how to add the locks and also glaze the silk in part four. So I pre-draft slightly. I'm going to add some locks first. Do a little thing and I put it on my lap. Now go from the bottom of the lock and hold it with this finger underneath underneath it. So when you start spinning, it's going to grab it, like so. When you go to ply that, all this will pluff up. I want to have a glazed section. in between each of these trying to find a small piece like the same you're pretty much core spinning this on to your single get it to grab like so When you don't stop spinning and you're trying to fix something, that's what happens. It gets really tough at the end here. Really tough. And then you start making mistakes. And you only want to spin really slow, not too fast. Because there's a lot going on and it, you don't want it overspun. I just showed you how to add the kid mohair locks with the glazed silk and it turned out quite beautiful what do you reckon so pretty um, talking to my buyer she wants me to ply it with a cherry red um, it is a fine merino with cashmere and silk. Very, very pretty. Not so bright. Um, it is more of a 
darker red purpley mulberry color but it is quite beautiful and I think it's going to make this one pop so let's get started mm -hmm. 